I made up a small bracket to suit the starter solenoid and drilled it. That should uh, fit nicely. We've just got to undo this one. bracket fits in there. This wiring is a nuisance, I will do it later. It goes to the uh, voltage regulator which I've pushed to one side so it's in my way at the moment. Well there we go. Tighten the bracket down. That's it. So we've got the solenoid. That now goes on. Like. Okay guys, this is what we've got. Got some terminals, heat shrink tubing. I've got some red and black cable. Already made up a uh, terminal with heat shrink and a cover for the um, starter solenoid, that's the crimp tool. So I'm now going outside to uh, test all of it out. So this is the uh, short length that we wanted. And one of the other terminals. Um, right. The trouble with these is they come with a, a small entry, so what I've done is cut them off, put the knife in, and created a four-way split. The whole reason for these is, of course, you've got bare terminals very close to the engine cover, so I don't want to make it such that the terminals have got any chance anything fall in touching the terminal touching the engine cover so that's the whole reason so that now comes through there like that oh. I've got my reading glasses on so that's the terminal size for on the uh, starter motor. That's the terminal size for the stud on the starter solenoid. So we need to cut back some of this. Says so he making a pig's ear of it. Some heat shrink on. It's very easy to forget these and put this on. Then you have quite a struggle messing with all this lot to make it go over it. Because this happens to be quite a tight fit into the terminal. I did the other one without this problem. There we go, we're on. Right. Crimp pliers, pressing the fly open, placing the crimp pliers like so. Press down. go that's the crimp made up tight pull that over to there I'll not do that here I'm going to go to a burner and place it over at burner right that's in position the terminals are clear of the housing plus I've got to, to take this one off 
there we go I've got the cable to go from there just pass it underneath with this bracket my intention is to drill a hole in there and the other one and then I'll pass a cable tie round to keep it clumped in I made a can't really see it but I made a step in the bracket so that it can't go any further back so that's the cable passed across place that on there Passing that on to the terminal. I think I might pass that further down. Maybe pass that down there, that would be better. Pull the cable through, measure it to length and cut it off. There we go. We're all heat shrinked up. Nicely done. This can go down further now. A bit warm just at the moment. I'll let it cool down a bit. Not totally, but uh, but thanks to the luscious Lynn, I've now got a nice cup of tea. Oh, delicious. So that's the link, that, to, that end for the starter solenoid, that end for the uh, nut terminal on the starter motor. So I've done another terminal, but what I did notice on these terminals is that, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a slight flap from manufacturing. So what I did is I took an ordinary pair of pliers, snipe nose type or pointed type, put them in, give it some pressure, turning round, and it flared it out, and then it went together quite easy. So worth looking, I didn't, so it's worth looking at them. So, so we're at the K uh, point at this moment of uh, doing some of the wiring up so we'll pass that through there take off the nut off the uh, starter motor positive terminal place the nut back on Make sure it's snugly fitted because this is an electrical connection that's going to carry a lot of current. Well that turned out to be far more difficult than I thought. Once this was slid over it was beyond the cover. So I've had to turn the terminal upwards come out from it and go down underneath there but it's a nice fit there's nothing in the way sorry guys I didn't show the removal of this uh, AC socket simple reason is my head was in there and I couldn't get a camera shot of it at all but basically it's a metal ring with a cap the other end goes on to the uh, voltage regulator on pull out terminal so i pulled them from that this is the feed into the regulator in ac and that's the 12 volt back out from it so this is redundant the hole there is where the power cable is going to come out sounds daft i know but i'm going to take this back off and the bracket off and drill two holes so i can pass a um, cable tie around it. I'll not show that and I'll put it back again afterwards. Um, one of the many things about removing this um, just there 
bottom just there I don't know if this is going to show up with the camera from that hole just there was I came across this and uh, looks like it's been nipped just there uh, squashed etc but with the two battery cables there'll also be a five core cable coming in here that will feed the solenoid for starting for this wire and also the uh, 12 volt feed and a ground running through I know we've got the battery but I'm going to run a separate ground through as well and uh, so that what we can do is use two of those cores to replace this uh, safety um, that will be needed for the ignition switch so when you turn it it kills the engine um, and we'll do it that way around I've uh, fastened up the um, positive to the starter motor the positive it's not fastened it's still loose goes through and both the battery cables are heading off underneath um, there to go through and underneath um, the seat which is under the cover at the moment um, we forecast good weather but unfortunately there's dark clouds gathering so I'm a bit reluctant to take the uh, uh, cover off what you might notice is that uh, I've taken the solenoid negative put it under the bolt of the bracket and onto the engine that's the positive for start that's going to go through on that five core cable I've got the um, voltage regulator here and the idea with that is it's going to go down there and this bolt here I'm going to make a zigzag bracket so we've made up a, a little bracket that's designed to uh, sit in there like that and then this is designed to fit on the bracket like so whoops around like that a little nut and bolt to push through There we go, so we put a nut on the bracket. So that, <coughs> that now should sit in there. Get the original bolt. Put it through the earth tag. and place the air tag on there there we go not so sure about this one guys the uh, negative boots arrived I've put it on it but uh, don't know yet it depends it might be in the way of the cover and it doesn't matter if the negative touches the cover of course well, I've managed to mount the solenoid up I've got a battery on jump leads not quite no what's reach you have to take my word for it it did work <laughs> the cover did go on despite the uh, um, negative terminal it did pass it okay